Hello. I want to do a couple of uh, challenging intervals for you because uh, I think there there's some interesting problems that we should do. So let's go to share screen, and we'll work on the web board here. So I'll get rid of this, and let's see what's going on here. Very first one I want to do, and make sure I get the line the right size. Is let's say we have this sort of thing here. Let's say we have the integral of x1 plus x to the fourth dx. Now, one of the things you notice is that there's, um, it is, a, if you try to let u equal the denominator, that doesn't work, right? You see why? Because the derivative of the denominator is 4x cubed. But here's what else you can try with this. Try u equals x squared, then du equals 2x dx, and 1 half du equals x dx, which in fact, if you notice, kind of we have the x and we have the dx right here, right? So that might not be a bad thing to try. So the interval becomes, and I just didn't want this. Let's go back to here. The interval is now transformed into one half. That can go outside because it's a constant. Du over one plus u squared. And that, as we went over before, that interval is arc tangent or inverse tangent plus C. And then we'll go back to black to transform this. This is transformed into one half of arc tan of X squared plus C. Okay. So that is the first one I wanted to try. Go back here. Let's now try a second interval. Okay, down here. Our second interval is let's just take a look at uh, this one here. Let's try e to the square root of x dx. Now notice we don't seem to have a nice, um, we don't seem to have a very nice thing here. So in desperation, let u equal the square root of x. Now we could say du and all this other stuff, but let's just go ahead and solve. So we know now u squared is now x. And then if we differentiate both sides, we get 2u du in differential form. So this thing now, I'll go ahead and write the transformed interval. This interval is transformed into e to the u. And remember, the two can go out the outside. And let's just erase this so it stays away. And then we got our u du. Uh, come on now. Well, I don't want that. I want this here. And then use parts. So if we use parts. Uh, this I shouldn't have used u here, but I did anyway. So uh, let dv equal e to the u and u equal u. Then v is e to the u and du is just u. Kind of lame, but should have used different letters. So now two 
d v u times u d u is going to be u v minus integral of v. Uh, okay. So this is equal to, and I forgot the two. Can't forget the two. So it's now two u. Um, or v is e to the u. I was being silly there. And the integral of e to the u is e to the u plus c. And then let's transform this back. Remember, original u was the square root of x. And there you go. So those are a couple of little tough intervals there. Okay, thanks for watching.